talk our way through it. Now, to develop this chart, future state VSM, it looks a little bit different. And yes, it should, as we look through that. Okay. Uh, down here, the biggest, biggest thing is down here. We cut out four processes in here and built a continuous flow weld and assembly process. We cut out all the diamonds, which represent inventory waste, because this is make one pass one in here, so I cut a lot of the diamonds out, and then we have some supermarkets here to help control the process, where they're discontinuous. We filled in our data boxes where needed. We also cut out all the lines from production control to each process. Here's our post Kanban order system that Michigan Steel now is delivering once a day. We again develop our process control line down here with uplines being the storage areas like the supermarkets and the downline being the process cycle time. So we got one half day here, one second, one half day here, 165 seconds, but that was three of those processes. 165 seconds. We got two days in here for this supermarket here. Here we have our order combines going back. For every tray taken out by shipping from this shipping market, we got this 20, this combine order for 20 parts. And we do something similar here uh, with, with uh, stamping. That's the combine approach. And they're still getting 18,400 parts per month. At 1,200 lefts and 640 rights, we're still working two shifts, and a tray has 20 parts in it. We're still delivering coil steel in over here. It's just that we're getting paid within five days of getting our, our coil steel in. We start processing, and our process control now. We add that all the uptime. Now our pro production lead time is five days. Our processing time. When you do continuous improvement, you don't really try to focus and shorten the value add time. You try to, remember, you try to cut down on the time that gets in the way, the stuff that gets in the way of you doing your work. So you're trying to cut down the top line, not so much the bottom line. But in this case, the bottom line went down through efficiencies as well from 188 seconds to 165 seconds. So you cut out a lot of lines and whatever and now what you got is continuous flow the customer ordered parts they take it out of shipping shipping supermarket here you see the opening or the combine card you make it and fill it back up and you similarly here and similarly back there that's called customer pull customer pull scheduling any questions on this guy this is a little different from the last one you saw yes any questions on that guy it, uh, it was kind of quick going through it, but but I think you got an idea of it, okay? On here. Remember why we did this. We got this offer. We got this offer from one of the companies we thought might be nice to work for. Acme Manufacturing. They offered us a project for $10,000, yes? And if it was successful, they wanted us to chop out half the time. Just half the time from paying and getting paid. Have the 23.6 days of production lead time, that's also called paying and getting paid time, on the line. Our project results was five days. We had two 1.5 day supermarkets and we had one two day supermarket. Five days. So if you divide the five that we accomplished over what they had, it's about 21%, which is considerably lower than 50%, isn't it? Please note your productivity improvement in this exercise is 4.76 times or 476% improvement. Congratulations on your continued success. Questions, comments, criticisms? It's awesome. It is a very neat tool to work with. It really is. When you support that along with the visual stream management and the 5S and 
Kaizen ears, Kaizen implementation rate and all that stuff. It all kind of, hopefully you're starting to see how those pieces start to fit together. Like next uh, next session we're going to have uh, Mr. Lowry in and he's going to give us a cornerstone piece, the total preventive maintenance. The, the way that the Mr. Maya's book puts together total productive maintenance, TPM, total quality management, and just in time are the three cornerstones of lean enterprise. But you can't have just in time until you have TQM and T TPM. So we're going to have Mr. Lowry talk about TPM next week. We may have some time to review one of the previous ones. And then I'm going to try to a session on TQM and Lean Six Sigma. There is a lot of talk out there that Lean Six Sigma is the TQM of the future. Well, it may be. I mean, there's a lot of neat tools. Unfortunately, it's become rather fashionable. There's a lot of things that have been attached to it. There's a few companies out there that really do a good job. But I had a student come to me and say, you know, my company uses Six Sigma to waste money. So anyway, we're going to next week, we're going to have T TPM, Total Productive Management, that's equipment. And then following that, we're going to some work in Total Quality Management, Lean Six Sigma. And then once we get those two things in place, then we'll start doing one piece flow, kind of what this starting to build for, yes? One piece flow, customer order. Let the, don't start the line until you get an order from a customer. But now you got to be able to do it efficiently enough that the customer doesn't have to wait too long for it. That comes down to that QCD thing we talked about briefly. Quality, cost, and delivery. Okay, so it all fits together. See you next week.